Hi, I'm Cathy from Her.ie and I'm here about to chat to Irish fashion designer Paul Costello. So Paul, you have a hugely successful career spanning three decades. What so. is your recipe for success? Well, number one, I don't recognise success. And I think once you do recognise it, then you may as well stop working. So I'm still thriving for perfection. Um, I still believe I can be quite good. What are you most proud of, though, if you had to pick something that, you know, really stands out in your career? What would it be? Probably, uh, number one, getting married to my wife, Anne, a Northsider, who, who keeps me very level-headed. Um, and also younger than me, which, which I'm very pleased about, a lot younger. <laughs> uh, I think number two would, would be definitely dressing Princess Diana for a couple of years. That was a really uh, privilege and a compliment. Amazing. So when you were younger, you worked in a pig factory, I believe, and then you went into bookkeeping. So you have had quite a varied... Very varied. I think, it was, again, because I was so um, weak in most subjects, um, mm -hmm. in fact, all subjects. Maybe a little bit of geography was there, hidden away. I always had a bit of a fantasy for travel. Okay. And, and that's why I, I worked in many countries, okay. Milan, London, New York, mm. Paris. Um, but, but, but I think working um, in a pig factory taught me to deal with people, um, to be able to work with people of, of, of all skills, of mm -hmm. all, and get on uh, with, and getting on with rural Ireland. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, um, it's very different from Dublin. Um, the, the booking was a disaster. I went to the School of Commerce about mines. I still question which is the debit side and which is the credit <laughs> Amazing, side. Yeah. Do you think it's very important though for someone to kind of move abroad to study or is it possible uh, to just, you know, make it here? I think the Irish nature is, nom is nomadic. Mm -hmm. We are a race, we like travel, we adapt very easily into other cultures, mm -hmm. we fit in easily. Uh, it suits our nature, it's a small country, you can only learn so much here. I'm not saying people should go away, but, but particularly in a field like, like fashion, it's mm -hmm. a very, com very competitive, you're, you're better off learning with the best people and mm -hmm. most of those labels are abroad, the big names like the Chanel's and the Gucci's and the yeah. Dolce Gabbana's. Um, you know, and so you're, you may as well learn from the best. Mm -hmm. So then your recent collection showcased at London Fashion Week. What were your kind of inspirations for that? That was tough because I had quite a reasonably successful spring collection right. of, of which everything was cut away, baby doll, same length, above the knee or on the knee. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden we started looking at 50s, we started looking at 70s. And for winter I was confused a little bit. Okay. But so I said, damn it, I'm going to do every length that exists from the 50s through to the 80s, really. Right. Uh, so I had this, well, and in fact it quite worked because it wasn't a, a boring show. Okay. I know that. Mm. It had so many different lengths, so many wonderful materials, and um, and again, my favourite piece was black. It's weird, isn't it? You okay. know, but um, you know, a black coat which was cut high in the front and low in the back. Okay. If you to pick three must-have items for a, a woman's wardrobe, what would they be? I, think, I mean, it has to be a coat mm -hmm. because in this, in this climate, weather, yeah, my in God, from the month <laughs> of what? End of September, early October, yeah. true till now into March, nearly going into April. Yeah. And then we have the jewellery line. The so jewellery line, which is absolutely Pembroke. wonderful. What's wonderful about Ireland that people are still getting married. Mm -hmm. you know, this on, is true. On, unlike London, you know, we all, oh, we live together for 20 years. <laughs> and like, oh, we might get married. You Eventually. Know? Yeah. This isn't a uh, bling jewellery. This is very, very feminine, which I saying already. It works beautifully with pastels. It works lovely. If you had to work under any Irish designer or otherwise, maybe an Irish designer and someone abroad, who would you love to learn from? Do you think there's anyone that you know could teach you something? Oh, God. Mm. Um, I think it would have to be probably somebody abroad, only okay. because I think everybody, you know, we're all leaving, aren't we? Um, I suppose um, I'd have to look at Giorgio Armani, you know, because he he hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. I have to sweat every season, come up so, with new ideas. Yeah, he just does the same look, different fabrics, same shoulder pads, but he's got that niche mark. He's got the Asian market sewn up. 
people know, nearly can tell it's George Romani as soon as they walk in. It, it definitely appeals for the older woman because she has money. So in fact, I, I, I go against, I, I feel like I could be a little more commercially successful if, if I went down that route. Ruth, okay. Showing in London is a much tougher target mm -hmm. than showing in, in, in Italy because they, they, it's a young city and they want young, yeah. new ideas. Yeah. So you could, you could be very easily taken off the catwalk mm -hmm. completely mm -hmm. because there's still only 50 odd people showing. Exactly. And um, I think the, the only two people are all are myself now. And of, oh, sorry, of course, Simone Rush. Yeah. So Chanel or Saint Laurent, which? Which would you pick? Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. Glamour? Not or because. Not, what? not because I don't like Chanel, but I'm sick of Karl Lagerfeld. Yeah. <laughs> but I love his job. Yes, yes. <laughs> Best answer yet. Oh. Glamour or practicality? I think practicality. Okay. Uh, chain store or catwalk? Catwalk. Catwalk. And heels or a flat? Heels. Heels, always. Amazing. Paul, thank you. It's been Pleasure. fantastic. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Very, very much. <laughs>